Modern and Blued hits theaters this weekend. I'm joined in studio by actor and executive producer Rudy Halgren, and he's going to introduce us to this Afrikaans thriller. Hello. How's it going? You're good. right. Good. How are you? Yeah, good. Thank you. Okay, now Modern and Blued hits theaters this weekend, and it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. not. A movie we're used to seeing in the Afrikaans genre. Yeah, it's true. It's it's kind of like a shift away from, you know, the norm, which is a good thing. Um, I think we're challenging ourselves, and you know, you, you need to grow, uh, so that's quite important. And I think, um, you know, this genre is something fresh and something we haven't seen yet. So it's yeah, it's exciting. Now it's it's based on on true events. Mm -hmm. It's it's based in the Anglo Boer War. Tell me, tell me about doing a movie that that has uh, historical relevance. Yes, I think there's a lot of pressure because <laughs> you feel like you need to um, you need to justify and validate why you're saying certain things. So I think that's why it was important for us to be inspired by history, but we're not making a documentary. Mm -hmm. It's we've taken elements of history and used creative license and told a story that you you could look at it and be like, what if this is how it happened? Yeah. Um, I think that's what makes it quite interesting as well. It's it's that whole thing about what if because we don't know exactly what happened um, in history, <laughs> not just in the Anglo Boer War, <laughs> but you know it's it's, it's like it's yeah. it's nice to have that creative license sometimes. Yeah. Now it has a very international feel. I mean, the film just looks so epic and Thanks. so polished. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about making making the film. Tell me about that journey. It's a long one. <laughs> it, it takes a while to to get from you know concept to completion, but I think it's you know the secrets keep is is um, is teamwork. Mm -hmm. So you need um, you need a strong team on board, and I think that's what we you know all the way through. It was just like we we tick boxes. Every every position that had to be filled was like that person was so dedicated to to their position, their craft. And I think that's why the end product is so polished, is because you just had people who absolutely loved what they did. So all the way through, you know, it's it's a film. You don't see how many people are, are behind the scenes yeah. working, grafting, um, and then you just see the final product, and you're like, actually, that's that's quite nice. Yeah. Um, so it's rewarding. Yeah. What scene was your most memorable? <laughs> I seem to remember the scenes that were cold. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, uh, so there was a lot of uh, we shot at night a lot, um, and Worcester was freezing. It was like minus, d you know, minus three or minus minuses. Five. Yeah, minuses, and you're there. Oh, that's Canada weather. Yeah, Canada, <laughs> Canada weather. You know, and actors complaining boohoo about the circumstance, but um, yeah, it was it was. And I think the nice thing is that sort of added a layer to to um, the film as well. Um, because it gives it authenticity, you know. Suddenly you're in a because when you when you're working as an actor, it's often in a you know comfortable space. Yeah. But suddenly you're doing the same thing in an uncomfortable space, so that adds another layer of like authenticity and and um, dynamics to to the scene. So yeah, it's, it was quite an interesting experience. Now we know it's a fictional story based on some historical mm -hmm. events, but there's also a rugby element yeah, yeah. to the movie. Tell me about that. So. It's, and I need to be careful here, but it, it, the origins of rugby, um, you know, the South Africa, the, the Springboks and where we come from, as South Africans, we didn't play rugby. It wasn't our sport. It's something that came from England. Um, and a lot of the, the origins of the sport originates from the camps. So when the, the Afrikaners were incarcerated, they were exposed to the sport through the English. Um, and this film is about that journey, like being exposed to something that you absolutely have no idea how to do, and then actually embracing it and becoming good at it. Um, so that's what, what we touch on in the story is like, where did rugby come from and how, how did we get to where we are today as such a powerful rugby nation? Did you learn a, a lot by making this movie? Yeah, it like sounds loads. Like you did. It's, it really yeah, sounds yeah. Like it's, you, did. You, you know, you. It's, it's a long process. You, we started this a year ago, more than a year ago. So you go into it and you, know, you discover, there's a journey of discovery. So um, whether it's technical filmmaking or um, business aspects or on set, mm. watching your fellow actors, taking from what they're doing, you know, that guy's good, what makes him good? <laughs> you know, you kind of, you, you, you learn things. Um, 
So I think you have to be like a sponge. You have to try and like be alert, observe, and like absorb as much as you can. Um, so that's a really rewarding mm. process is to is to get and and um, privilege. Mm, that's the wrong word, but it's 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 something that y you should be grateful for because yeah. that doesn't come often and it doesn't come to everyone. So when you do get exposed to that, is to be grateful for for that process. Okay, now yeah. tell me about your character. You start as a baddie and then you turn into a goodie. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Left Lieutenant Butler. He's a he's a good guy. He's not a he's not a bad guy. But he's he's you know you have to look at society at the time. There were certain uh, ranks of status. So if you're in a certain position, there's only so much you can do. Your superior outranks you, and and you have to do as you're told. It's not like modern society. Um, so there's that aspect, and then he he has to do things that he doesn't really agree with. Um, but that's his journey. He has to learn to stand up to this this colonel that's his boss, um, because he really makes him do bad things, <laughs> um, and to actually go, no, that's wrong. I'm not going to stand for that, and um, I'm actually going to stand my ground. So he's got an interesting journey to get to that point, um, because it wasn't it wasn't the norm at that time. You weren't just like, no, actually, keep quiet. It it was like you had to res respect society and the ranks that you were born into. Well, I can't wait to see the movie. It right. comes out on Friday. To, yes, Friday the 1st of April, not yes. April Fool's, as we tell it's everyone. It's not an April <laughs> Fool's joke. It's really <laughs> happening. Yeah. So you must go out and see it. How and when and where do we get to see it? Um, so we'll release a list of cinemas uh, through Stokinical Distribution. And um, it's actually on Facebook at the moment. So if, you go to the, the face, if you're on Facebook, you have to log in and then type Modern Blut, and you'll get to the Facebook page. And then we've posted a link to New Metro Stokinical, where the theatre that it's showing. So yeah, it's get booking closest to you. Yay! Great. Thanks, Rudy. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks for having me.